Welcome back to my channel, Learning with Miss Ninhu, and if this is your first time, I appreciate you for stopping by. The purpose of my video today is to show you how to round using the rounding poem checklist. And this is a checklist that I myself use inside of the classroom, and I found it very helpful. You can also find it on my Teachers Pay Teachers account, linked below, and it is for free. So let's jump in. Before I start my lessons, I always like to review vocabulary. This is important because I've seen it many times where rounding is confused with estimation. So rounding is finding numbers that are close to an exact number, but easier to work with. So our first problem here, we're going to start off with rounding 14 to the nearest 10. We are first going to draw a T-chart. And then place our number inside. And this helps to keep our work organized. As scholars progress, they can round without the chart. So according to our checklist here, it says to first find the value. So according to our question, we're rounding to the nearest 10. So that means we're paying attention to our one. And then we're looking next door. So what I like to do is circle the value, draw an arrow to look next door. So this digit right here is going to help us to understand if we're going to be rounding up or if it's just going to stay the same. So our next step here says for or less, let it rest. So here's where it gets a little bit confusing because it does say let it rest, but we have to read into the next step here. And this is where a lot of scholars end up not knowing whether if the number should change, if it should stay the same, or what exactly they're supposed to do with it. So the next step says numbers to the right, zero is your name. So if it's four or less, Although it's saying to let it rest, you still need to change this number into zero. Numbers to the left stay the same. So this does not get changed. So it would look like this and 10 would be your answer. Let's go ahead and try a different problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and follow our Okay, so let's go ahead and follow our checklist again. So we are rounding to the nearest 10, okay? And I'm going to put this into my place value chart here. And my first step is to find the value, which is two, because it's in the tens place. Look next door, I'm gonna draw my arrow to next door. It says five or more up the score. So I see that I have a five here. So that means that this digit is now going to change into a three. It's going to go up one. And then that means that we would end up skipping this step. Go into our next step, which is numbers to the right. Zero is your name. So that means this gets changed into a zero and numbers to the left stay the same. So let's try with a three digit number. Okay, so our next problem here is to round 178 to the nearest 10. So I'm gonna go ahead, create my HTO chart. Right here, 100s, 10s, and 1s, and then put my value inside. Okay. And then now, according to my checklist, it says to find the value. And because I'm rounding to the nearest 10, the digit 7 is going to be my value. I'm going to go ahead and look next door. That's done. It says 5 or more up the score. So this is 5 or more. So our digit in the tens place gets changed into 8. And then it says numbers to the right, zero is your name. So this gets changed into zero. And then numbers to the left stay the same. So this digit in the hundreds place just stays the same. So my answer would be 180. 
let's try one last problem. And this problem I would consider tricky. I've seen it many, many times in the classroom where scholars get confused about what they're supposed to do when they come across numbers like this. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and put our number into an HTO chart, hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay. So now I'm going to first find my value and I am rounding to the nearest 10. So the digit 9 is my value. Then I'm going to go ahead and look next door and we have our 9 as well. So five or more, we up the score. So that means that this 9, because we're going up once, it's going to get changed into a 10. And that zero comes here and that one gets added to the nine. So this also gets changed. And then it says numbers to the right, zero is your name. And then numbers to the left stay the same. So in this case, it did get changed because you're going up one and then nine plus one equals 10. So that's why this digit ended up changing into 10, and so 999 rounded to the nearest 10 is 1,000. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I look forward to teaching you in my next video. Take care.